dog, you was fucking the Yankee. I was fucking with Pace, I was pitching the Frankie. Robert De Niro, he telling them that you're amazing. Put that shit on, shit on, then get shit on. Good morning, happy Tuesday. It is the 8th, I believe, and I just finished a run. Um, I did just two miles, and then I am headed to the gym now because it's shoulders and back day. Um, the clips that you saw earlier were a new pair of running shoes. So I did get another pair of Hoka's, but it was actually a gift. So I have a um, old classmate from college that works for Hoka, and she saw my stories about needing to get another pair because of the um, colorway getting really dirty. And she was like, hey, I can hook you up with a pair just send me your email, I sent her my email and um, she sent me a code and I was able to get the pair that I have on um, now uh, for free. Like I didn't even have to pay for shipping or anything. I literally had free reign to go onto um, the website and pick any pair that I wanted with the exception of like a lifestyle um, sneaker that they just released. So I thought that was pretty cool. Like people are so good to me <laughs> and I'm appreciative. I have to find ways to pay it forward because the people, the people be out here hooking y'all girl up. So, so far so good. Um, the only thing is I got them true to size. So I got my size instead of sizing up, did not follow my own advice and they fit. They're fine. But if my feet worked as well, or if I were to run more than a couple miles, I wouldn't have room for my feet to expand. So I probably won't wear these if I run more than a couple miles um, at one time. Anyway, I like them so far though. My little bunion is comfortable. It don't feel stressed, which is important in running shoes for me. Um, so yeah, so far so good. I can't remember the name off hand, but I'll put it somewhere here on the screen. I believe they retailed for like $160. They are super sleek and cute. I like them, they're black and white. They match my um, workout gear more because I mostly work out in black. So yeah, so far so good. I'll keep y'all updated on this as well. It is a different um, design than the ones that I had before. So yeah, okay, let me get to the gym. So I got a new pair of shades in the mail today. This is actually the package that I was waiting on last weekend when I was sitting downstairs um, in my building because I had to sign for them. I did not have to sign for them. Um, apparently it was turned over to USPS, which is when it all went to hell like usual they can never get your shit to you in time and i'm starting to not feel sorry for them like i was feeling sorry for them when all of that stuff was happening or whatever but like now i'm just like at some point y'all gotta get the shit together like i i cannot not get my package on time and in fact like two three four days late every time i order something like my empathy is waning i don't have any empathy anymore anyway i ordered these ray-bans from essence um they're like a men's frame. I'm not sure how I feel about them. <laughs> I look like Selena's daddy in the movie. Like he would wear frames like these. I'm giving real Selena's daddy's tease right now. Um, but I'm not returning them, so we're gonna make them work. I mean, I kinda like them. I don't know. I guess they have to grow on me a little bit. Somebody said that they are a little mature for me because I have such a, a young face, which thank you. And also I agree. Maybe that's why I'm getting real like older Mexican man vibes from the glasses that I have on right now. Um, which are fly for them, but I mean, are they fly on me? Are they fly on me? I don't know, I think they're kind of fly. They're growing on me as I'm like looking at myself, but like I'm, I'm sort of kind of feeling them now. Anyway, I got them for vacation. I thought they were super cute. They were 115 on Essence. They're uh, normally $150. Um, and so I was chasing, I was chasing that, um, 
lower price but i was talking to someone on instagram today and um he was saying how he was gonna stop shopping on essence and i kind of agree with him because i feel like a lot of their stuff is under retail value even when it's not on sale but what i've noticed is a lot of people have been complaining about them putting the um like duty fees and stuff on them so they don't let you know when you're making your purchase that you're gonna have a 200 hundred dollar duty fee when you know they deliver your stuff or when your stuff makes it through customs and so then it's not being delivered and then you find out you have to come and pick it up and pay a 200 dollars duty fee in order to get it. like that's crazy so i mean i don't know sometimes i don't think a deal is worth it sometimes it's just worth it to pay um the price getting these shades was too much of a hassle for me so i mean i don't know I, the only way i'll probably go back on essence is if i can't find it anywhere else or if the price is just so good that i can't i can't pass it up but then if i end up having to pay duties on the back end i'm gonna be pissed off so i don't know i guess it's just sort of like the risk you take anyway i think i've just talked myself into liking the frames i want to do a like um sunglass collection just with the ones that i've picked up recently um like sunglass slash um vacation sunglass haul collection i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna call it but i'm probably gonna do that for next week's video because i've bought you know maybe four or five pair of shades in the last couple months and um i bought them all with the um idea of taking them on vacation so i may just put them all in one dedicated video i think that would be fun yeah anything for selena's that's that's what i'm giving right now <laughs> let me show y'all what i got in the mail today so i was um in the market for a good pair of like sandals like slides i know everybody into those like little yeezy slides or whatever which aren't bad but like i'm still trying to figure out if i'm gonna start purchasing kanye west stuff still on the fence about it um I think I may be coming around though, to be quite honest. But anyway, they're also not really my style. They're, they're just like a little too like plain. I like something that has a little bit more like, I don't know, design to it. Anyway, I ended up getting the Nike Offline slides and these are what um, they look like here. And so it's just a slide. It's all black, has like some little brown cork um detail here and then it has um this lace up detail and i got my normal size i got a size eight and a half because it is men's sizing and they fit perfectly like they fit perfectly i could have probably gone up half a size just to give myself a little room but i didn't really need to like they fit perfectly and this insole here is actually detachable look at how thick that insole is so i walked around in them just for a little bit in the house and they are super super comfortable um i got them from a store called bts in store in germany i just randomly found it on, on google doing my googles because um they were sold out originally on nike when i tried to get them i found them on farfetch but they didn't have my size so i did a little bit more googling and i found this store um and it actually looks like a really cool store i follow them on instagram and everything now it's a really cool store if you're a person that's into like streetwear or athleisure or athletic wear or gym shoes or anything they have a bunch of stuff and their site is so clean and crisp and just easy to navigate so i will definitely be patronizing them again this came within a week of purchasing them i did not have an issue getting them at all um the shoes retailed at 149 uh well they were 134.99 and then they were 149 so it was ten dollars for shipping i'm about to try them on for y'all hold on i know i'm in my robe but like girl i'm at home so this is what the shoe looks like on. I'm actually gonna keep these socks on on my way to Walgreens because my toes are not done. I'm trying to hold off until closer to my trip. I got about two more weeks. So I'll probably go get them done next week. But this is the shoe. As I said, they're perfect fit. Um, Could have went a half a size up if I just needed more room, but I really don't. Um, and they're super comfortable and cushiony. And I just like the detail of them. I think they're super unique. They're super cute. I can see them like dressed down with just socks and like jean shorts, but I can also like throw this on with a little dress just to add a little bit of like edge to it. So I think they're cute. I like them. They also come in like a white color, but girl, I was not getting no white slides. Like it's never gonna happen. They would be filthy. But yeah, this is Le Shoe.
Hey guys, happy Saturday. So I just finished a run. Well, the run was three miles. I only did two because I worked leg this, legs this morning before. Um, I came on the run, but I ran with um, the group that I'm doing the 100 miles of summer with. Um, I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I'm sweating. It's hot. It is so hot. I cannot wait to get home and get in the shower. Oh my God. Yesterday I hung out with my best friend. Um, we've been best friends since we were 11. We met in fifth grade. Um, she's here with her two kids. She brought her son for his birthday. So I spent all day yesterday with them just hanging out. We ordered Grubhub for the hotel room. We didn't do much. We just sat around and talked until like nine o'clock. And I just didn't want to really film any of that. I just wanted to hang because we don't get to see each other um very often um so yeah that was just our time anyway i am going to meet the run group at um a coffee shop grab a coffee and then i gotta get home and take a shower i have a couple things that i purchased that um oh i'm sorry i have a few things um that i've purchased that came in the mail and then i bought some shoes yesterday that i'm gonna show you when i get home so i'll talk to you then <laughs> Okay, so I'm all fresh and clean and showered. I'm sitting on my floor in my favorite little corner, so that means I have some stuff to show you. Um, so I'll start with what I got yesterday when I was out with my best friend. So we stopped in Nordstrom Rack, because Nordstrom Rack is my store, let me tell y'all. And I was this close to buying this Theory Blazer that was on sale for like $150. It was like leather, but it was just a tad bit too small. And I talked myself out of buying it. I'm like, Angela, it's too small. You can't buy it. The answer is no. So I didn't get that, but I did grab a pair of Birkenstocks, which is, it's funny because I was actually looking at a pair on Farfetch the other day and like made a mental note to actually go on Birkenstock site to like look and see what they had. And then I went to Nordstrom Rack and I saw this pair, which I really liked because it's a Birkenstock, but it looked like a sandal. So um, it was $99.95, so under $100. I think these maybe retail for like $140 or something like that um, normally. So, you know, a little bit of a deal. I got them in a size 42 um, and they fit like perfectly like, true to size so i'm into them i think they're cute um they're gonna get filthy in the inside but you know whatever it is what it is because y'all know i wear a lot of oil on my body and that includes my feet so i'm anticipating these to get extremely stained but whatever they're shoes they're meant to be worn so it is what it is so i grabbed these from nordstrom rack on yesterday and then i got um a shipment from sporty and rich so if you don't know what sporty and rich is i actually discovered this brand on farfetch y'all I, I spend way too much time on farfetch but it's like an athleisure i would say more of like a sportswear brand as opposed to like athleisure um and i just think it's like super dope it's just like simple and plain it gives me super like suburban mom like if a suburban mom is going to wear sweats it's going to be sporty and rich sweats actually i grabbed some things from them a while ago and i'm still waiting on the top to come in because ups lost the shit they literally lost it and they <laughs> and sporty and rich hasn't sent me another shirt but um they do drops so you can't just go on their site and just shop all the time their site is closed down until they do another drop but there are other retailers that carry them like netta porter so i grabbed a pair of shorts out of netta porter and then i was able to get the matching shirt off of sporty and rich before they closed the site down the shirt is what got lost so i I don't have that i've had these for like two weeks now and just hadn't showed y'all because i was trying to wait until i got the matching shirt y'all know i love a coordinate so i wanted to show y'all the cord together but i'll go ahead and show y'all the shorts um now so they're just a pair of biker shorts just sort of like this cream dark cream color and it just says um sporty and rich and it says fitness so it really is just like a sportswear fitness I guess athleisure um, type brand. It's not cheap. I'm not going to lie. These shorts were $90. These shorts were $90. A pair of cotton biker shorts were $90. But we've talked about me and my um, sportswear and like athleisure. I just, I just would prefer to spend a lot of money on them because I wear them a lot. So I have a matching crew neck t-shirt to these that is coming from Sporting Rich is actually supposed to be here on Monday. So they resent it, did it overnight. I literally emailed them like, UPS lost my shipment and they were basically like, you know, we lost it. And I literally asked UPS like, what's next? And they were like, you just have to wait. Wait on what? So I emailed the brand and they were like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'll send it out. Literally two hours later, they sent me an email like, hey, we resent that. We did it overnight, you should receive that. They didn't make me deal with UPS and reimbursement they're gonna deal with UPS and reimbursement and they sent me my products. Listen, I will gladly pay $90 for a pair of cotton biker shorts 
with customer service like that okay and then i got some additional stuff from sporty and rich because they had a drop on um the 7th so i just grabbed a couple accessories from the brand so i grabbed a hat of course of course i grabbed a hat so i just got this uh sporty and rich it's like a volleyball hat so they do tennis they do volleyball they do you know fitness they do like all of the things right that's why i say it's more sports rare than like athleisure if that makes sense um so i just grabbed this cap and it looks super cute on i love it i love their tagline too it says less but better which is my style like if you've been following me for a while on here you know that it that just that just sums it all up for me so um grab this hat and then i grab the matching tote bag because one i think it's cute and i need like an everyday tote bag and two i'm going on vacation um in a couple weeks and i'll be there for like seven days so i need something that i can just you know carry water and sunscreen and um sanitizer and mask and all of that stuff and so i just grabbed um the matching tote bag to that hat and yeah so i think those are just like super cute accessories it'll be cute with just like a pair of jean shorts and a t-shirt and just throw on this hat and throw this bag on and it's a look with my little birkenstocks and i'm like super sporty casual I'm looking real sporty and rich so yeah that's all i have to share with you right now i think i'm gonna go ahead and just end the vlog here i don't have plans as of right now um so i don't know what else i'll be doing so um i'll end it here but if if I end up leaving the house and doing something I'll probably just add clips of whatever activity at the end to close out the vlog but I'm gonna go ahead and say thank you all for watching I appreciate you if you have not subscribed yet please make sure that you subscribe to my channel I do have a goal of trying to reach at least 500 subscribers uh by the end of June I don't know we may not get there but we're gonna try I'm currently at like 382 the last time I checked so we're like slowly inching there so if you haven't subscribed and you run across this video and you enjoy it please make sure that you subscribe also follow me over on Instagram my handle over there is B Angela underscore B E and I will talk to y'all in next week's vlog bye mm -hmm.